All right, here we are at the uh, canvas shop at Aries Pond. And you can see this is uh, the deck that uh, Jeff and his team uh, do the sail cleaning. And we've got these lines here that we dry the sails on. And we've also got a nice view of the, uh, of the pond. So let's go in and say hi to Jeff. Hi, hi Jeff. Good morning, Tony. How are you? Good. Good. So Jeff, tell, tell us a little bit about your uh, uh, background with canvas work. You've been, well, you've been here as a rigger. How long have you been here? I've been here at the pond 16 years. 16 years. This coming September, I uh, headed up the rigging department for 12 years. And the past four years, I've been running the canvas shop up here in the sail loft. And I've been doing canvas work and sail work for Pretty much on a full-time basis for 22 years started when i was 13 back home in bermuda fixing sales and eventually led on to doing canvas and upholstery work it's been exciting to have this shop built here and provide aries pond with a, another added resource to our services yeah the big addition i the big thing i see is uh it's been great is with jeff's skills we can when we're custom building a boat Jeff can meet with the owner and go over the details um, in canvas work as far as interior cushions on our cruising boats or even the cushions and covers on our uh, boats is like the Aries Open 16. So Jeff, why don't you show us uh, what you got? Yeah, we actually have a cool project going on right now for one of our new Open 16s. These are some cushions for the, for the boat. Um, the owner likes stripes. This is always a challenge, but uh, I'm getting very good at doing them. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be really nice. It's a boat that's going to the vineyard and it should be going out in the next couple of weeks. Um, this is all with two inch easy dry foam. So if they get wet, water just runs right through them. We do all our cushions like this. They all have mesh bottoms so that the water drains right out of them. All zippered in the back, nice and neat, and labeled which way they go. And then they just get snapped into the boat, little tabs here. I should be doing the install on this later today. And we've got all the covers done for it. Uh, sail covers done. That's also striped. That's been a, it's been an interesting project. So he's got, Stripes everywhere on this phone. This should be getting finished up later today as well. It all zippered cutouts in our sail covers for the halyards. So it makes it going, going on and off real easy. I did all the, the finish work on the Conjurer and Sea Hound and for the uh, Maritime Museum as well for Sarah for their new sail. And it's all the hand sewn rings, all bronze rings and brass liners. Uh, wish I had an example here right now of what it's like, but I think there should be some pictures on the yeah. on the website yeah, of it. Yeah, for sure. For so, sure. but yeah, we do all aspects of sail repair um, and sail modifications. But as far as making new sails, it's, we're just not set up for that. It's, it's turned into a digital age now where everything's cut and scanned on plotters. So, in order for me to make a new sale, I'd have to do it the old fashioned way and loft it out on the floor, which financially we just can't compete with that. But we, uh, we're pretty much the only sale repair facility on Cape Cod, really, until Falmouth. Um, so we can tackle pretty much any, any project that comes along. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah, that's great. You're very welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Giving us the time and uh, showing us around. No problem at all. So here we are aboard the cabin version of the Aries Pond 16, designed in uh, uh, 19, uh, nine, or launched in 90, 95. Um, had a customer with a 14 and he asked us to design him a boat that is smaller than a Marshall 18. Um, 
but yet still had a cuddy cabin and a place for a porta potty. So we uh, designed this boat to give the shoal draft for Pleasant Bay and uh, Cape Cod Bay at uh, 16 inches and the full beam of eight feet for stability. And she's 16 six overall with 200 square feet of sail. Um, all of this is on our website. And uh, we brought this boat in from the mooring field. This boat's about seven years old um, because it shows all the options. So I'm gonna start at the bow and move aft and we'll go through all the options. Again, on our website, you'll see the base price for the cabin links and then you scroll down and you'll see the options. Um, and uh, then you uh, can build your boat right off the option sheet based on what I'm gonna show you here. So starting at the bow, um, we have an option for a bow sprit and a anchor, which you see right here. And so it's easy to deploy if you're gonna do some um, lunch hooking, uh, just sailing out to a beach and um, throwing the anchor over it. You don't have to have it stored somewhere in the cockpit. It's right here. Um, heading back, we have uh, the Lazy Jacks. We have the varnish uh, sliding hatch, which actually is not an option. This is included in the base price. Sitka spruce spars, which are included in the base price, or uh, you can do the carbon mast. Varnish to eyebrows included, the fixed portholes are included, rub rail, tow rail. And then uh, as we get back a little farther, we'll pick up the running lights, which are an option, spring line cleats, which are an option, the cockpit cover and full, um, or sorry, sail cover, and then a full cockpit cover is recommended on a boat like this with a lot of varnish because the, even though it's self-bailing, the full cockpit cover protects the, uh, all the varnish work from the sun. So it pays dividends in maintenance costs. So um, the louver doors are an option because we can put um, drop boards in. The doors are designed so they're, they're removable. So if you have a crowd on board, you can lay them below or under the seat. Um, and uh, if it's just one or two people, you can just leave them hooked up and they fold in with a louver, a louver uh, for ventilation. The table option for both port and starboard. Then uh, we uh, customize these seats, which I'll show you in a minute. But we also, um, as an option, have this insert. This is quite nice um, because you can, if you have a group on board, you could even take the tiller out with a removable pin on the rudder and have another seat and a nice open area to, to lounge and hang out. Or just like this, you can move the tiller over and, and sit right on, on the, uh, the seat here, which you, these folks didn't, but you could put a cushion here as well. So <clears throat> on all the links, is, it's base price includes just open underneath, just bench seats, but we can build in custom lockers. And we've done um, everything from coolers um, or ice boxes in our in our built-in seats um, and you can have dry lockers as well to store gear um, this one here is what we call well these would be storage lockers and this would be called a, a dry locker which um, could go a little further in, and uh, put styrofoam around or foam around it and make it into a uh, into a cooler and that's <laughs> set up on both sides here. So down below, um, we have um, full uh, bursts that are six foot four from the forward bulkhead to the midship bulkhead. And uh, it's really, I've spent a week on this boat in the Chesapeake, not this boat, but a 16 cabin. So I'm 5'11", I can lay right down and get a good nap or overnight sleep. 
Um, this boat has the electrical battery option, switch, switches are over to port, but interior light, running light, a place to charge your cell phone. Um, also a forward porthole, so you can get some ventilation uh, if you're spending the night on the boat. It's, these shelves here are in the base price. Um, right here for uh, more storage. And you have more storage also underneath the cushions. There's space to uh, be had for gear that you want. Just make sure it's there if you need it long term or for the summer sailing. There's this, another drink holder down here, or a cup holder. It's a pretty nice setup, um, or a very nice setup, I think, for a 16 foot boat. Uh, you know, you don't get full headroom but you can with your head or your back against the bulkhead you can read um, so it, it's it maximizes what you can get out of uh, this amount of space uh, in, a, in a 16 foot boat without making a cabin that looks top heavy or bluntly ugly um, yet still gives you enough headroom that you can sit and, and have a conversation. So the last one th thing I want to show you is the um, is the option of a compass, which can be mounted port or starboard, and you can see on either tack pretty pretty well. So, so you can check our website for the base price and uh, build your boat right off the option sheet. This is our Aries Pond 16 foot links. Okay, uh, welcome aboard the Aries Pond Open 16. This boat was uh, um, designed by uh, originally as a cabin 16, and uh, we had a customer who wanted us to cut the cabin off and create a more open cockpit, and so we did. And since then, that was in um, that was about uh, 15 years ago, and we've built over 50 of these model since um, and again like all our boats they're custom fitted out to the customer's needs it doesn't have to have all the fit and finish like this boat has um, and the base price uh, including fiberglass hull non-skid deck Sitka spruce bars or a carbon mast with Sitka spruce bars spun background lines laminated tiller the, um, let's see, what else do we include? Oh, the centerboard enclosure and the seat arrangement, as you see it here, we have, we offer either wooden seats or the uh, cushions on top of the uh, custom benches. Options would include things like lazy jacks. These are our standard blocks made by Gauhar, but they could be uh, wooden or bronze blocks by Ray Nikki and suns in hull mass uh, solid bronze the main sheet system here is we consider an option because you could have a four hole bronze cleat as our base price many most people go with the with the main sheet system because it's easy to control uh the main sheet especially if you're single handing uh, and have to move forward to get something you can put it in the jammer there other options that you see aboard this boat would be the table, uh, the hinging table, or and the, and the and or the drink holders, and then a nice feature. I'll move my whip so the sun can get on the uh, belay pin rack. A nice uh, option that you can add even if you go with the standard boat, which this surface would be all gripped white and you could still put a varnished or painted belay pin rack. It's very traditional and it's a very nice uh, feature to hang your halyards on. In the base price, we give you just uh, cleats mounted to the combing that you can hang your uh, cleats on. Some people don't even want that and they just prefer to leave them, the halyards ready to go, led back to the helmsman so you can just control it 
control your halyards from the from the tiller. So you have your peak here and your throat here. Topping lift pretty much gets set and stays stays uh, in position there. Uh, this boat, these uh, this cedar here to hide the gel coat behind it is uh, we consider an option as well as the staving you see all under the bench here. This would not be standard. These would be open so you could just toss gear underneath. I wanted to just do a quick visit to this open 16 which is uh, more just behind the boat. We uh, did a description because this boat's kind of special. It, hit, it has the ocean volt uh, electric motor and uh, we're very happy with this uh, since the master volt no longer is doing marine inboards we've switched to the ocean volt system and uh, it's proven to be very um, uh, very powerful motor with great uh, thrust uh, especially on a 1800 pound uh, boat like the open 16 and as you'll see there's um, it doesn't take up that much of the cockpit and acts as a, a nice uh, table uh, this uh, boat was custom built with uh, all kinds of tables. They do a lot of socializing. Um, they'll get six to eight people in here and go out for a picnic lunch. They got all kinds of room to lay, lay things out. So I just uh, wanted to show you that. And um, a unique feature here at Aries Pond, if you look here at this launch, this runs our customers out. And so all three of these boats, as well as the 19 Caracal over there, are all electric. They're powered by our solar panels coming off the roofs of our shop and office. So we're very proud to be able to get people to their boats and power boats with no uh, fossil fuel spilling into Aries Pond. So I'd like to show you our, our boarding ladder that we designed in-house in here at Aries Pond. Um, it locks in with these quick release fasteners and it's in two parts so it stores in your stern locker underneath the uh, aft seat. So it's also very sturdy, um, you really can put all your weight on it and know that you're safe as you climb up, up the ladder. So when we want to store it, we pop the uh, quick release here and on deck, she comes off, we do be doing this all in the boat, uh, but since the boat's on land, it's, and then we take it apart and store it. So one leg comes off, it'll go in the locker, the second leg comes off in the locker and then this is storable in the stern compartment. So that is our boarding line. So here we are with the open 16 hull number 42 that uh, throughout the uh, show you've seen under construction or at the uh, finishing stages in our boat building shop. And then when we visited uh, Jeff in the canvas shop, you saw the cushions being made. So here it is.